Janet. Hi! Hi! <laughs> You're beautiful. Thank you. So, this is Belle. This is Allie. And we are here from popcultureuncovered.com. Okay. And we are here with our drunk review for Black History Month. <laughs> and we are going to talk about the amazing, the amazingly sexy, the voice of a generation, the one and the only, right. Carrie Payton. Okay. Woo! Just saying this thing makes me all warm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> to me. Really? He is new to me. That's right. Uh, because of The Walking Dead brought him into my life. And, and we were all blessed. Oh my lord. <laughs> or oh my king. Oh, oh yes. Oh my king. Oh my king. Oh my oh. king. Oh my king. Oh my king Ezekiel. Oh lord. Um, I mean the comical side of it totally. And mm -hmm. he's He's doing the whole theatrical, um, yeah. over the top, mm. like, oh, yeah, I know. Breathe it in, girl. Yeah. It's okay. Sorry. Yeah. Also, we've been drinking for now two and a half hours. <laughs> um, and it's been amazing to have him in the new cast, and I'm very much looking forward to what he's going to be bringing, and now that I've seen him on the TV screen, he needs to do more. I know, like, if you look at him on IMBD, it's like pages and pages and pages and pages of stuff that he does. But I want to see his face more. Yes. See, I knew about Carrie Payton yes. from Young Justice and from uh, Justice League as Cyborg. And Justice League, he was a Cyborg, and on Young Justice, he was and Aqua Teen Red. And what? Teen Titans. Teen Titans, right. And on Justice League, he was Calderon. Mm. Say that again? Calderon. Oh, nice. Yeah. Um, one of the few animated characters that I was like, he could get it. <laughs> I don't care that he's animated. He could get it. So for those of you who are unfamiliar, Calderon mm -hmm. was Aqualad on Young Justice. And uh, that's how I knew Carrie. And uh, I... His voice was so, his voice work was so impressive, and it matched the character so perfectly that I actually had to look up who he was in real life. And you don't usually do that with voiceover artists, mm -hmm. you know. You and you enjoy them, but you don't really kind of. I want to find right out what they're now. like, who they're like in real life. But I was like, I need to know if this guy is as fine as he sounds, and he was, and he is. So, for me, and then there's also, he's been in so many video games that it would actually be too, it would actually be too many to list. It really would. It's a lot. It's, I, it's a lot. This was my pick for the night because I was looking on IMBD and I was just like, wow. Like, yeah. It, it really, it just keeps going and going and going. I hope he does too. Yeah, yeah I said it. <laughs> What's your favorite King Ezekiel moment? Well, I love his flair. Because um, he does have a flair for theatrics mm -hmm. because of his history in it. Mm -hmm. But I love and Carol when he is con connecting with her and kind of explaining himself and breaking down. He's becoming so human. So you get to see different sides to him, and it's like, oh. and they're all fine. And then, <laughs> and then he's sacri oh, spoiler alert! Spoiler! Spoiler alert! Um, he sacrifices himself. Mm -hmm. and it's like, oh my god. Mm -hmm. So, mm. so not one moment, just the build up of the character over the season, and like everything. I mean, he's always just so amazing to watch. Yeah. Um. Yeah. And it's not a lot of voiceover actors. Behind the scenes with him as yes. well. Yeah. Like, you just love him as a person because mm -hmm. he's so witty and, like, 
charismatic. Yes. Like, he's... Like, he draws he's, you. Like, he seems to like such head. a wonderful person. Like I would love to sit down with him with like a bottle of wine. <laughs> yeah, and just I will yeah. say that like if the Walking Dead com the show goes the way of the comics, that they are going to lose a major charisma factor because he's just he draws you in. From the way he moves. Could they be keeping him instead of somebody else? I have a feeling that they probably are. But that's, that we'll find that's out. That's a whole nother podcast. That's a whole other <laughs> trunk reveal. <laughs> yeah. Um, but he is, he just draws you in. I know my favorite, there are so many episodes of Young Justice that, that Young Justice, first of all, if you haven't watched Young Justice. Do it? Yeah. What are you waiting? Secondly, <coughs> especially do it now before, you know, Warner Brothers starts their own streaming service, which is a whole other ball of wax that we'll get into in another podcast. But if you haven't been watching Young Justice, my favorite arc, and there's so many, he was so phenomenal on that show. But my favorite arc is when Calderon goes basically undercover with Black Mantis. And if you guys aren't familiar with Aquaman and Black Mantis and Aqualad, first of all, go pick up a comic book. And secondly, it is one of the most well-written arcs for a TV show. Not just an animated show, but for a TV show, period. And he is so good in that part, in that entire arc. It's weird to say that an animated character shows so much range. But because of what he infuses the character with, the character shows so much range, so much growth throughout the entire arc that you just, you don't know. You just don't know where it's going. You you hope for the best, but because he's so deep in the undercover thing, you honestly don't know if he's gone native or if he is still remembering what he's there for. And to me, that's great acting. And it's not a lot of voiceover artists. A lot of voiceover artists, I feel like voiceover artists are not giving enough credit for what they do. But it's not a lot of voiceover artists who transition to live action mm -hmm. and back and to theater and back in that way. He's only been nominated twice, but I feel like, especially now that he yeah. has a face on the screen, yeah. I feel that's going to play a lot more into his nomination. I hope he and becomes award. huge. I hope he becomes Idris Elba huge. Because Idris Elba was another one who was underground for quite some time, and we'll get back to his fine self mm -hmm. later, for quite some time before The Wire. And I hope Carrie Payton becomes that kind of huge. Um, he's been around in the game. He's been in the game for quite some time. And his current accolades are quite well deserved. So if you're not watching The Walking Dead and if you haven't seen Young Justice, if for no other reason, go check them out for Carrie Payton because he is worth it. And go check out all his video games because even if the games are crap, he's fantastic in them. <laughs> his voice is fabulous. It's worth it. It's worth yeah. it. And on that note, this is Belle. This is Allie. And this is a Drunk Review Black History Month edition. Thank you for joining us. Ciao. We'll check you on the rebound. Okay. Bye. Are we on? What are we drinking? Yeah. Oh, goodness. Okay. Bye, y'all. You can find us. Oh, we can find us at popcultureuncovered.com. <laughs> Twitter. PC Uncovered on Twitter and Instagram. And Pop Culture Uncovered on Facebook. This is how drunk I am. I forgot who you are for a second. <laughs> okay. Thanks, y'all. <laughs> Bye. Dude.